Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and I'm coming to you today with a very short video on the 27.4.1 hotfix that Finale did recently. Uh, several weeks ago, Finale released the original 27.4 version, and if you had been following the social media with Finale, you may have uh, saw that there were some major problems with that, particularly on the Windows side. Well, a few weeks later, they did release the 0.4.1 hotfix to address that, and it happened to be right before I went away for the Christmas break, so I didn't get to do a video then, so uh, here I am doing it now, and I'll just talk about a couple things, and then one other thing that I just kind of missed in that original video. Uh, so the major issue on the Windows side had to do with PDF printing, if you were paying attention to any of that. What happened was that the 27.4 update broke PDF printing on the Windows side if you were using a third-party PDF printing app. Now, it would still work on the native Microsoft uh, version of doing that, but uh, it was just the third-party apps, which apparently a lot of people use on the Windows side. And so the 27.4 original release kind of broke that. So that was a major problem. Problem, and that actually prevented a lot of Windows users from upgrading completely. Uh, so again, that's been fixed in the 27.4.1 hotfix, so that issue is, is no longer a problem, uh, so that's good to go. The second thing that they did, and if you had watched my original video, you might have uh, seen what I was talking about uh, with, with one new option. I think it was number 12, music spacing is now correct when layers cross or overlap. So they sort of introduced this fix uh, for situations like this where you have uh, crossed layers where the stems are kind of overlapping with the edges of the note heads. This isn't really how it's supposed to look. These um, layer one notes are actually supposed to move just a little bit to the right so you don't get this weird looking overlap. Um, and also when you do that, uh, what Elaine Gould suggests in Behind Bars is that there also should be a little bit of gap when you have unisons here. And in previous versions of Finale, this is what it would look like. You'd have no gaps, you'd have this, these overlapping stems here, it was a, a bit of a problem. So in the original 27.4 release, they added this option in the document options under music spacing called stems. And what this would do, supposedly, it would fix those problems. Well. It sort of half fixed them. And let me just show you a screenshot of the original 27.4.0 uh, uh, release and how that it handled it. So you can see that in these two measures here, it did fix those crossed voices where the stems are now a little bit uh, separated. The layer one notes are just a little bit off to the right to accommodate that, right? But it didn't do that in the second and third measure. Um, the unisons are still right on top of each other. And in fact, in some scenarios, like in this first measure, it actually reversed the order, which is actually really bad. Um, so this was sort of a weird thing that happened. They, they fixed it for one scenario, didn't fix it for another scenario, and then made it completely wrong in another scenario. So I, I was actually in communication with them about this, and they kind of looked at it and they said, okay, let's, let's deal with that in the hotfix. We have to do a hotfix anyway. So um, they did, and now that setting in the document options stems, if you actually use that, and uh, select all and just apply note spacing, uh, it actually handles all of those scenarios correctly. So you still have your gap in the crossed voices and now you have a little bit of a gap in the unisons the way that you're supposed to. So uh, this is actually really nice. They uh, fixed that for us and so that is also good to go. And finally, there was one thing in that original video, uh, if you remember, I was talking about the uh, number 16 measure numbers are now aligned correctly in measures with key signatures and time signatures. And what I had assumed that they had done was they had fixed this situation where the bar numbers actually go to the right of the time signature where they're supposed to be here, sort of aligned with the bar line. At least that's you know sort of a common practice of doing it. Uh, but for you know as long as Finale has been in existence, they've always put it here. Uh, this is of course when you're showing measure numbers on every bar. I thought that they had added an option to allow this to uh, automatically uh, align to the left bar line. And for the life of me, I could not find it. I looked everywhere. Of course, I had a limited time with the, the beta version I was looking at, so I, I just couldn't find it. And a few days after I uh, released the video, or even the same day, I think, somebody had mentioned, oh, it's this option here. And it just was in a place I was not looking for, <laughs> so let me show you where that is. In the measure tool, you go to the measure menu, 
which is weird because I literally never go to this menu. This edit measure number regions box I use all the time, but I have a shortcut for it with Keyboard Maestro. So I literally never go into this menu. And lo and behold, here it is, align measure numbers with bar lines. That's the option I was looking for. It's right here. And all you do is select that and check it. And it does exactly what I was hoping it would do. It actually aligns these measure numbers to the left bar line. So there you go. That's where it was. I just completely missed it. Um, and incidentally, by default, this option will always be unchecked in any new document that you create, any old document that you open in Finale 27.4.1, this option will be unchecked. This is sort of the way that Finale does this. It just wants to not uh, cause problems. Again, if this was checked and you had made manual adjustments, it would actually make the manual adjustment too far. So it'll always be unchecked until you check it and then it will uh, correct those bar numbers uh, for you. So, so yes, that's all there is to it. That's the 27.4.1 hotfix, just a couple things to mention. So yeah, thanks for watching. Again, just a quick video on this 27.4.1 uh, hotfix. Uh, I really appreciate it. As always, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you soon on the next video.